when we talk about kinematic execution, we kind of talk about Galileo, but we know that the conversation really started with Aristotle long time ago, some 2400 years ago in 350 BC in Greece. That Greek philosopher Aristotle said that today we are actually going to do talk about the free fall. So, that Greek philosopher Aristotle said that object in free fall, the speed of the object is proportional to their weight. But 1900 year later, Galileo said that something different, that the object uh, mass has nothing to do with the object, the, the object speed when they fall. This is what we are going to try to understand by four kinematic equation. Now, today I am going to give you proof of the most famous one d is equal to v a t plus half a d squared. But I want you not to remember any equations is because, because the memorization is crime and also if you do memorize you would not be able to read the mind of Aristotle or even read the mind of, uh, uh, of Galileo because how Galileo was able to correct the mistake made by Aristotle you would not be able to understand that. So, do not memorize them understand them. How do you understand them? By deriving them, by prove them, by prove them when, when, you, uh, when, you, uh, when you can prove them, then you will be able to use these tools to read the mind of Aristotle and also mind the Galileo. Start with this, we will start with average velocity is x minus x naught over t. I can write t minus t naught, but t naught is equal to 0. I can write t minus t naught, but t naught is equal to 0. x minus x naught is equal to v naught t. Now, I am going to call out, I am going to make v naught t red. So, I will have v naught t over here. v naught t is equal to v naught plus v over 2. I proved that in the class a few days ago. So, I am using this. We can we can definitely uh, prove it again by using midpoint formula. I'm going to replace this one where, wherever I see the red. So x minus x naught is equal to put this red thing over here, v plus v naught over two, and then and then bring down the t, bring down the t. So now the second thing I'm going to do I'm going to make this one blue. I'm going to make this one blue. So I'm going to write this over here. So v is equal to v naught plus a t. I already proved that in the class. So I'm using this as an axiom. So x minus x naught is equal to. I'm going to replace this right here. So I'm going to write v naught plus a t plus v naught over 2 times t. So, now I am going to write x minus x naught is equal to now do you see that I have a blue v naught and I have a red v naught blue v naught red v naught I have a 2 v naught. So, 2 v naught plus a t over 2 and everything multiply by t. So, I have x minus x naught now, I am going to use some properties of algebra. So, 2 v naught over 2, I am going to make this t red. So, you know how I can move it around. So, I am going to put the plus sign. You see the plus sign over here. I am putting the plus sign over here. Now, I am going to write a t over 2 and then I put t over here. Alright, so the distributive property allow me to do that. If you distribute that, you're gonna go back get the same thing again. Anyway, so let's move on. X minus x naught is equal to two to cancel v naught t plus half a t square. Okay, so this is the formula I wanted to prove. Now I'm gonna talk about this formula for next few seconds and I'm gonna show you an example. So, x minus x naught is equal to 
v naught t plus half a t squared. So you can write this as x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus half a t squared. You can write you can rewrite this equation as y is equal to y naught plus v naught t plus half a t squared or you can write it as y is equal to y initial plus v initial t plus half a t squared or you can write it as d is equal to d initial plus v initial t plus half a t squared. They all are the same thing, different ways of writing. However, let me now give you an example. Let us do a case study. Let us say I draw this from this height. I drop this pen from this side. If I do that, if I do that, you saw it falling. Now we can calculate the distance. We can also calculate the displacement. If I drop, if I drop this, dropping means let it go. And where, well, where we exactly start measuring? We are exactly start measuring the moment I drop it. So if I drop it from here, we start our measurement from there. So, if I drop it, I will start my measurement from right here. So, right here, I am going to say that the origin, if I do the coordinate plane, that would be right here, x would be 0 and y would be 0 is going to be 0 comma 0. So, that means I am going to let this one 0. So, d is equal to v i t plus half a t square. Now, if I want to find the distance then this formula is fine, but if I want to find the displacement, then I have to change this formula. D displacement is equal to V initial T, V is the vector, but V will, V goes to 0. When you drop something, initial velocity is 0 because you let it go, plus half G T square. So, this acceleration, this acceleration due to gravity. So, now you can, this is acceleration due to gravity, this is A is equal to Z, okay. So, now you write Z and you put a vector notation, Z is a vector, okay. So, now you can, uh, you can write T squared. If you want to remove this vector, you can remove this vector by putting negative over here. This vector means direction. So, the gravity, acceleration due to gravity is always to what the south. So, this is east, this is west, this is north and this is south. The acceleration vector, the acceleration vector, acceleration due to gravity is the downward vector. So, downward is the south or down or negative. So, we can replace this one by negative g minus half g t. Okay. So, they are equivalent. All right, so I I change it to this, but I change the sign over here. So now let me give you an example. So an apple fall from let's say an apple, an apple fall from one. I don't know. I go to my rooftop and drop an apple and and see apple falling. What can I do? I find I can find the distance and I can find the displacement. So let's find the distance first d is equal to v i t plus half a t square. What I do? I drop an apple from where? The rooftop. Um, so, this is the rooftop. This is where I drop an apple. So, this is exactly where I drop an apple. So, from here, I am going to start the measuring. Okay. So, the apple is falling. Okay. So, now the initial velocity, the initial velocity over here would be 0 because I let the apple go, I did not push it. So, then d would be half a t squared, all right. So, now you are going to replace this one by z because you are going to replace this one by z, so t squared because z is the acceleration due to gravity and that is the downward, that is the downward arrow, acceleration due to gravity is always downward. Okay, t squared, so d is equal to half, that is negative 9.8 t squared. So, d is equal to half, uh, you have 
meter per second squared and then t is one second you want to find how far it goes at the end of one second so then d is equal to half 9.8 meter per second squared one second squared all right so second square second square cancel so you get distance is 4.9 meter so at the end of one minute at the one of one second so at the one of let's say one second this is one second so the distance it move the distance it move is only five meter 4.9 4.9 meter 4.9 minus is distance it does not give you the displacement so from here to here this green line is 4.9 now let's find the displacement the expectation is you have to have expectation distance this is the distance this gives you only one information and that is the magnitude now we're going to find the displacement and displacement going to give us two information magnitude and direction so let's see how we can find the direction so let's use the same formula of course it is the same formula so d is equal to vit plus half a t square now instead of a we're going to write g t square okay so d is equal to vit plus minus half 9.8 okay meter per second square and then this is of course one second square and this is zero because you are still letting it go so this is zero so this term is zero so d is equal to what do you get uh, minus half 9.8 meter per second square and then you have one second square so second square second square cancel so d is negative 4.9 meter so now this now tells us two information is moving to the south so it's moving to the south so displacement make sure you write displacement so displacement is now 4.9 me meter to the south south is the direction of the apple when i let the apple go the direction of the falling apple is to the south okay now what did you learn today we learn how to derive one of the kinematics equation and that is d is equal to vat plus half a t square which uh, came from uh, galileo uh, 1620 so what did galileo do he uh, hypothesized that uh, distance is proportional to a square of uh, a square of time and then he deduced and he deduced that d is equal to half a t squared from this all right so this one and this one is the same almost same because distance is equal to half a t squared so because this is constant because a is 9.8 so i don't want you to memorize this because if you do memorize it you cannot go back to the time 1620 and read the mind of galileo so try to understand that every uh, every pass of this of this of this kinematics equation and next time we're going to prove one of the other kinetics equation